this is Zephyr's Kinley, and today we're going to be baking chocolate chip s'more cookies. I just want to say a big thank you to the person who commented in my, my making breakfast video uh, for making cookies, and I think that is a great video idea, so this is for you. So, we are going to make sure that we preheat our oven to 350 degrees, and yeah, let's get started. So first, we're going to get our two cups of flour and put it in a mixer. Now, you could use a hand mixer or a bowl. You could use whatever you want, but I'm just using this for now. Once our two flour, our flour is in, we're going to be adding baking soda. So, it's one teaspoon of baking soda right here. Add that in the bowl. And then we're going to do salt. And the salt, look who it is, salt. So, I'm going to use the dasher and I'm just going to do a couple of dashes. Once we have done that, we're going to mix it very low. So, I'm going to do kind of low because I don't want this to go everywhere. We're not going to mix too much, we're just going to mix a little bit. Whoop. Now that everything is combined, we're going to be adding our butter. So this is one cup of melted butter. If you wanted to know, one stick of butter is usually a half cup. I mean, not a half cup. Yeah, a half cup of butter. And so I melted it, and you don't want to melt it too much. You just want it to be perfect. So we're going to add this. What? You don't want to do too much, or else it's going to splash. Okay, now that we got that, we are going to add our sugars, which is brown sugar and sugar, and normal sugar. And the measurement for that is, oh, first of all, I did not have light brown sugar, but it, that's okay because hopefully it doesn't change the recipe too much. But yeah, it's three quarters of light brown sugar and two thirds cups of granulated sugar. Now we're going to mix that together. At low once more. Now I'm so excited to try this out. It looks so good already. It's not even halfway done. Perfect. Now that that is mixed together, now we're going to be adding our two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And I actually did one because it seems like a lot, but here we go. And then we're going to do <laughs> okay, so this might sound a little weird, but we're going to do apple cider vinegar. So, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And then we're going to have one large egg. So, we have one large egg here, and it's in this tiny little bowl, and I have to beat it now. So, I'm just going to crack the yolk and slowly do it. Just until the yolk is cracked. Perfect. Okay. So, now we're going to add this in our mixture. Perfect. Guys, this is honestly looking already so good. Okay, and now we're going to beat it one more time. Something along this one. Okay, that looks super good. Oh, wow. Did you see that on that? I mean, that looks pretty good. Never mind. Okay, so now we're going to mix into, we're going to mix the full, so like the dry, so if you're not using this in a mixer, you could do two bowls with the wet and dry ingredients. And so if you were not using it in a mixer like I am, you could do that now. And then now we're gonna add in our chocolate chips. So I actually did one cup of chocolate, wait, two cups of chocolate chips, but I did one cup, it's like chunks, and then the other cup is just, uh, just like normal chocolate chips. And then you could do semi-sweet, but I did dark chocolate for this one. We're going to mix. This is where it like really comes together. And now it is mixing there pretty nicely. And this is, you can kind of see it right there. And it looks so good. I'm so excited. Now we have our cookie dough done, and we're gonna use two spoons. And a little trick that I learned is that if you have like water, and then you could dip your spoons in there so it's not sticky every time. And then we're going to get our cookie dough with both of our spoons. And we're not gonna do too big, just the perfect size, just like that. And we're gonna put it one cookie length away from the other cookie. Now I'm gonna finish the whole batch, and I will see you after we're done with that.
Okay, so we have just finished this and we put the marshmallows on top for it to melt. And oh my goodness, guys, these are like so good. It's light and crispy on the bottom and like it's gooey on the inside with the marshmallow on top. It makes it look so good. I'm gonna have a bite. Mmm. Okay guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Make sure you go gangster and never miss any of my further videos. I hope I see you guys in the next video. And yeah, bye!